It is Thursday, March 12th, 2020, and I have just sent out another Code 7 signal on the HSI. This is to go short. So I got a sell stop in place to go short at 24,000 even. Uh, stop, uh, it's a big stop, but as soon as it goes ahead, just even 50 ticks, I'm going to place a break even stop on it. Let it go. It'll either hit the break even stop or it'll keep going. One of the two. And I have got the limit at uh, 23,820, just going for 180 ticks on this one, We're way, way down here. And uh, the signal is, is a little bit risky because of that fact that we are way, way, way down. So, but uh, I have sent that out that uh, this signal is uh, to be played uh, the break even stop aggressively, very aggressively. If it keeps going, we can just let it go. If it comes back, we just break even on it. Uh, so um, anyway, uh, there's still a good chance of this signal. It's just that it's a little bit more risky than normal considering the fact that we're already down really, really big here. But it could go down some more. And uh, if it does, we can take advantage of it without losing by playing a break-even stop. Because once it gets hit, it's going to go down a bit. It's just a question of how much. You know, is it going to go down just 70 ticks, 100 ticks, 120 ticks, and come all the way back? Very easily could happen. That's why you need to play this, this strategy where once it breaks, you're going to take a break-even stop, place it on there. What I'll do is just simply take this stop and adjust the price and update it. That's it. Just take me uh, 10 seconds to do it and update it and then I can let it go. You know, at that point I won't lose any money and I can just let it go to the exit if it hits. It's a great way to play. Anyway, I will come back and show the outcome of this signal. But uh, just to show you, uh, it shows I'm up 498,550 but that's, that's um, Actually, that's not right. I'm actually up 519,000 today on the HSI. 519,000 Hong Kong dollars. So up a little bit more than what it's showing. But uh, anyway, had a good signal and going for another 180 ticks here. Okay, I just wanted to show that that last signal on the HSI uh, was successful. It did go down right here. It was my entry right there and uh, it went down and I got 180 ticks from it. I got 180 ticks from it right there. And uh, so it was good, uh, very easy signal and I, I could have went for more obviously but uh, and I actually I could still be in it if I wanted to be in it and even going for even more. Uh, it could go down quite a bit but you know, on these signals, they come every day. And if you can get 180 ticks a day, you're doing really super well. You know what I mean? It, you go over 2,000 ticks a month, and you're doing really super well. So, you know, okay, on the last one, I went for 1,000. I got it. And now I just added to it with more. Uh, 30, 33,000 HSI, 250 and made like 40, 4277, 4277 US dollars off this one trade. So, you know, I, I'm not trying to get uh, really super greedy here, but um, if you take, if you go for more, you, you're taking more of a risk. You know, on certain ones, I like to do that. I warned about this particular signal because it's gone down a lot and a bounce is probably coming. Or let's just say there's a risk, there's a high risk for it. And, you know, you don't want to play around. Uh, with that too much and we might get a long signal at some point might go back up a bit and then I would be looking for a roll back over again and to go down even more even bigger lower than the uh, its current low and uh, so anyway or it might just keep going down here and go down pretty big you know there's, it's kind of hard to tell so anyway I just took the 180 ticks you can play that strategy you can play a strategy to go for more just whatever you do, don't take a loss on it when you're ahead. Put your break-even stop and live and die by that break-even stop. Don't ever make that one mistake. Because a lot of people do, and it'll just wipe you out if you make that mistake. So place those break-even stops. Set them to, to activate 
outside of market hours so they can activate 24 hours per day and good till canceled and you're good and make sure it's a stop and not a stop limit stop goes off at market stop limit it might never even get filled you don't want that anyway I will be back with more trading and more signals